Brom Country Cheese, a farmhouse sheep cheesery owned and run by Burke and Bromwyn Brandon, here in the picturesque South Gippsland region in Victoria in southeastern Australia. Well, that's what we call it, black sheep. Black sheep, Black okay. sheep cheese. And, you know, there's always one in every flock. And we've got, actually got three in our flock at the moment. Yeah. Uh, and the black, of course, comes from um, charcoal that we've ashed on, on the surface. Okay. I'm talking with Burke Brandon, owner and cheesemaker at Prom Country Cheese, about his delicious range of sheep milk cheeses. Burke is a natural born farmer who came to cheese making 13 years ago when he began helping his parents in their cheese making business, Red Hill Cheese. A few years later, he bought a property with the aim of developing his own range of sheep milk cheese and has since gone from strength to strength. As the afternoon shadows start to fall, it's time for this contented lot to head down to the milking shed. Over the years, Burke has carefully built up his flock to get the best milk for cheese making. We've kind of developed our own, own breed with using what genetics is available to us, crossed with what we already had, and we just pick the best, keep the best out of them. So introducing the East Frisian genetics, milking genetics to that, we're ending up with a durable breed that has lots of those other traits we like and a bit of extra milk volume. It's pretty common for small dairy farmers to have a special relationship with their animals, often treating them almost like family pets. And Burke's sheep are on the verge of being a little bit spoiled as evidenced by their milking time snacks. So what have we got going in here? A bit of um, calcium in the dolomite and okay. some seaweed as well as the, um, the protein meal. We've got some some chaff for uh, their fibre and a bit of energy from the, um, the barley and apple cider vinegar. Oh, right. So they're getting a lot of potassium. They're getting a, a good, um, a good wholesome mu muesli. Yeah, it's like sheep they're, muesli, isn't it? I was just thinking that. you really got to look after them if you yeah. want milk, good decent milk, milk out of them. I, I really feel that um, cheese making and, and farming have a, a lot in common. In the essence of it is that you're starting with a raw ingredient, either the milk or the soil, and both mediums just wants to grow something. So if you understand how, how things grow, then that applies well to cheese making. And the, the goal is to get growing in the milk what we want to grow, to get the flavours and textures that that we're looking for. And it's no different to farming. You, you, you want the good stuff to grow, not the weeds. So I guess over, over the last 10 years, our cheeses have, have evolved to become what they're like to suit the local environment. When we came in, we saw an unusual uh, creature in your flock that was a little bit out of place. Tell that us must about be, your resident alpaca. That's one of those <laughs> shapes with a stretched neck. They come in handy uh, when at lambing time when the, the foxes are after the, after the lambs and they're pretty intimidating when a fox comes into the paddock so they'll, they'll hover around the outskirts of the flock and just sort of protect the, the boundary a bit. And if a fox decides it wants to wander through the, the herd looking for a lamb, that'll come up and uh, give it a hard time. The next morning, it's off to the cheesery to make Prom Picnic, Burke's signature semi-hard cheese. Action time. So this is a very simple farmer cheese. Um, this culture's been ripening since earlier, and I let the milk talk for itself, basically. All the starter cultures and lactic acid bacteria are, have been are right ready to, to grow there. They're at a stage where they're full of life. Do you find it relaxing to make cheese? Yeah, it's great coming in here and uh, changing my farmer's hat for a cheese making hat and, and being in the, the piece of the cheese factory for a while. Often I can see the curd setting 
um, from the reflection of the, the sunlight in, through the window. Oh wow, okay. And I can see now that the, the milk is dripping more slowly off the knife, yeah, so, okay. so all the protein particles are starting to move together and separate from the, the whey in the milk. Within half a minute, it's already turned into curd from milk to curd. Wow, okay. Now it's time to go. Time to cut, all right. This is a point where you can really see the difference with sheep milk. There's just so much curd. Yeah, there is, isn't there? For the, the same amount of milk. The ratio of curds to whey is quite different. And it goes a very long way. You get so much curd. So many cheeses out of the vat. Oh, you never really get over those magical moments in, in cheese making of, of just the miracle of the exchange to change from milk into cheese. Just give it a little bit of a move around without stirring it too much. This is the part that you can't brush, you've just got to um, is that slowly, full enough? slowly collect the curd. And, yeah, you're probably um, fraction more on that one there. It's about right. Sorry. Just use your hands as a bit of a basket to, to drain it out as it goes in. Yeah, it's critical with sheep cheese to get the smooth surface for it to be turned straight away as soon as it's made. Sheep curd really knows what it wants to be. It definitely knows it was designed for cheese making. Don't get it all comfortable in the hoop quickly then it, um, you'll never change the shape again. All done by the cleaning. So this, uh, this prom picnic has been in the cellar here for, for about five to six weeks and it's just feeling just right, nice, firm, dry rind. But it's still got some softness inside there I can feel and uh, if we put that away for another couple of months it'll be just perfect. Okay, so Berg, we've been making the cheese this morning and we're actually making this one here, Prom Picnic. So we've got a couple of your cheeses here, but I know this is the most highly awarded. Is that right? Uh, yeah, I guess the Prom Picnic has consistently, since we started making it about five years ago, uh, taken gold medal awards to just about every year. And Berg, how would you describe, I guess, the flavours of a sheep milk cheese for someone that had never tried that style before? For me, it's quite distinctive, but in a really, like I can always tell if I'm eating a sheep milk cheese, it's very elegant and smooth and round. Well, we find there's a lot of people who have uh, tried sheep cheese for the first time and have some hesitation in trying something different, but generally we find most people uh, find the cheese quite, with quite a mild flavour. Yep. Reason for that is because of the high cream content in the milk. It tends to balance the flavours a bit better than some other cheeses with, with less cream in them. And it also gives it that smooth texture as well, having the, the high cream. Yeah, it feels really round, always on the palate. Mm. So it's, I guess overall it's a pretty robust kind of milk. You can get away with a lot of things and um, and not, not quite as fine-tuned as, as goat cheese. Okay. And, um, but yeah, the flavours aren't necessarily um, too strong, although we can achieve full, very full flavours with sheep milk. But in general, it's, it's a milder flavour. Mm. I guess it's hard to beat when something's right. Well, I hope you enjoyed season two of Channel Cheese and that our stories and adventures inspired you to get out and learn a little more about cheese, whether it's in an exotic location on the other side of the globe or just down the road at your local farmer's market.